Hello, if you're watching this, then somehow we got connected. And I just want to introduce myself uh, so and just kind of tell you a little about who I am and just give you a minute, um, take a minute of your time and, and just kind of tell you my story. And, and as we begin to uh, build a relationship, depending on the context of that relationship, uh, I just want to give you just a foundation of who I am and where I come from. Normally there are about three questions that people always ask me. Uh, why do I focus on composition? Uh, is your name Don or is it Victor? And uh, are you an art teacher? So let me just tackle those three questions, give you some clarity on who I am and also uh, what kind of relationship those answers uh, can help us form together. Why do I focus on composition? Well, to me, composition is, a, is an amazing uh, aspect of art making. And you have painting and you have sculptures and you have architecture and to me all of these are ways of executing art and th through my years what I've come to understand is that the composition or the design is really where the art lies and so at the Academy we have a uh, viscous Pisces you know or two overlapping circles and and what we say is that the IQ or the science or the composition or the design, the know-how, the mind, the wisdom overlaps our heart, our personality, that which is in us, who we are. And so we focus on the EQ and the IQ and where they come and they over, overlay each other, that spot is where the art happens. So when you take the science and you take who I am and you merge them together, you have the art. We really want to focus on understanding the science of composing, the science of composition. But we also want to focus on the psychology of who you are and what value you bring, what's your message, you know? So there's a lot of artists out there who can paint really, really well and draw really, really well, but their artwork doesn't say anything and then you have others who have a lot to say but they lack the skills to actually execute execute the artwork to actually communicate and articulate it in an intelligent way and so it's the the intelligence and the art and where they I mean the intelligence and, and, the, and, the, and the personality and when they overlap you have the art and so that's what composition is to me that's what composition is to the academy, and that's what we focus on. Um, now, why do I do this? Let me share a story with you about a dream that I had. Years ago, I had this dream. I call it the black dog dream. And I was an old man living in a place like Portugal. Uh, it was, it was, uh, I was on the top of a little hill, my little cottage was. And I had a black dog. And the black dog's name was Norman, after my favorite artist named Norman Rockwell. And I would go down and I would meet up with my buddies uh, in the little village, <laughs> in the little village at, at the bottom of the, of the harbor. And I would, you know, spend three hours just bullshitting and telling stories and talking about life, love, you know, romance, politics, spirituality, all kinds of good stuff. And then when we were done, I got up and Norman got up and we walked up back to the studio, back up to the little cottage on the hill. Which interestingly enough, if I'm correct in saying this, my last name, Vargas, means a cottage on a hill. So it's kind of interesting. But, so I go back up to the, the cottage on the hill and I begin to paint. And as I'm painting, I, I have a heart attack and I drop dead. As my soul is leaving my body, I'm seeing myself on the ground, dead. And then I recognize that my dog, Norman, is trapped in my studio. And, and it just breaks my heart. I'm like, oh, man. So fast forward a couple years. Uh, so I have this dream and I, I end up uh, coaching a, a, an artist named Costanza out of New York. And Costanza uh, is a little older, so she has a different perspective on life. And she's an amazing, amazing woman. I shared this dream with her once, and she's like, 
Hector, you, you, the dream, she says, the dog is composition. The dog is design. And if you don't let that dog out, all of that knowledge, all of that, that, that energy is going to die in your studios and it's going to die with you. And when she said that, the skin on my, I mean the skin, the, the hair on my arm stood up, I had goose pimples, and uh, I knew she was absolutely right. And so that's why the Academy of Composition exists today. That's why uh, we have the Daily Bark. That's why I coach, I do workshops, and I lecture um, on composition. And what composition ultimately does for us as artists, it allows us when we can not only compose our art, but compose our life, not only spend time with the, you know, in our studio, but spend time in our life, in our relationships, composing it, painting it, uh, making it, crafting it. What it allows us to do is become a, a much more profound human being. And since we deal with art making and we bring that deeper sense of humanity to our work, a deeper sense of responsibility to our work, not only to the craft of it, the science of it, but also to the purpose of it, it allows us to become much more of a profound person and a profound artist, leaving a profound legacy. And that's why. I focus on composition because, in all honesty, I haven't found anything else that comes to that level. And every, everything else really is built upon your composition. An architect needs to compose. A sculptor needs to compose. A painter needs to compose. So composition is the keystone to all of these different things, and that's why I focus on composition. The second question is, what's my name? Is it Don or is it Victor? Well, it's both. No, um, you can call me Don, you can call me Victor, you can call me Don Victor. Let me tell you where the Don comes from. My birth name is actually Aladdin Victor Vargas de Castro. About a few years back, I started going by my middle name, which was Victor. And at the time of this recording, uh, few months ago, maybe about half a year, a year ago, something like that, uh, my students started calling me Don Victor, right? And I'm like, what's up with this? <laughs> and it kind of just stuck. And so that's where Don comes from. Um, at first, it was very weird for me to, to be called that. Um, but then as I submitted to it, I started embracing it. And it's really radically changed my life. And so, I go by Don Victor. You can call me Victor if you want, or you can call me Don. That's all. That's all good. Um, <clears throat> but it isn't a name. Don is a title, and we actually use it now in the academy. So when people come into the academy and they grow in this what we call the composer's mindset, they begin to not only see life. I mean, uh, see their art as something that is composed, but their life is something that needs to be composed. And as they as they grow through this process and they come more into this mindset of composition, there comes a point where they're at a place where they can then bring someone else through. They're not a master of composition. They're just dedicated and committed to it. And when and they're at a point where they can take someone who's new to it and kind of help encourage and equip them. And so when we see people come to this place, then we begin to uh, change their name. And so if you come to the academy or you're part of the academy, you could become, you know, Don John <laughs> um, or Donia Jane. Um, usually with the ladies, uh, if they're younger ladies, they don't like to be called uh, Donia. Um, so we, we will have the Don Janes and the Donia, I mean the Don Johns and the Donia Janes. Uh, but my daughter and a couple of the other girls, they like Donita. <laughs> so we'll call them Donita uh, Sophia. Um, my son, 
he loves the idea of one day we call uh, being called Don Salaman, and he, he just loves that. So, what started with me now is is marking the people of the academy. And so we have Don Guillermo and Don Martin and Don Michelle and Don. Uh, we have a bunch of people, and, it, and it's just beautiful. It's such a cool thing, and so those who come into the uh, the academy this is this is something you get to look forward to and uh, and again it's not just about the art it's about becoming a don of your own life and so we hashtag it with don up instead of man up or you know grow up or whatever uh, we say don up and and it's a very significant thing it's coming into that place of maturity a place of responsibility a place of no fear being able to know that no matter what happens you can compose your life you have control over it you have authority and power in it so this is again we are about making profound art but only profound artists can make profound art and to be a profound artist you have to be a profound human being and so that's the kind of people we attract and those are the kind of people we love to work with so the last question is, are you an art teacher? You can tell by now I'm not an art teacher. I'm not going to teach you how to draw or paint or sculpt or architect. Um, there are a lot of great teachers who do that. What I am is I'm a guide, and we're all on a journey. And something I, I realized years and years and years ago is there is no one guide or one guru or one expert or, or, or anything like that that's going to take you from... Uh, you know, a baby to, to you know, from the, the cradle to the grave. But life is a ladder. And it's extremely important to know where on that ladder you are. And where I am is I am in the line of composers. So as an artist, you, are you a painter or are you a sculptor? I am not going to teach you how to paint. I'm not going to teach you how to sculpt. I am going to teach you how to compose. So at that level, I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm a composition teacher, a composition coach. I'm much more also of a, of, a, of a trainer and a coach than a teacher. So a teacher is going to teach you the ABCs. A lot of the people who come to me already have a, a, an intuition of what composition is but they've never really trained in it. So we go through drills, we go through things uh, that work your hands, but also works your mind. Because composition is much more of a mindset, it's a way of thinking about things, than it really is about, you know, putting pencil to paper. And I mean, there is that part of it, but that part is actually very, very small. It's, it's how you calculate, how you think, how you analyze it and experience uh, things in your mind um, and how you communicate that on paper. So what I do is I guide people along that part of the journey. At some point, you know, they came in and at some point they're going to go out and they're going to find another teacher, another guide in their life. And they might become a guide to others. And, uh, and this is all beautiful. So I know I'm not the, the, the beginning and the end the Alpha and the Omega on the things of art, but I am a season in somebody's life. And my responsibility, my privilege, my duty is to make sure that when you come into this place and you leave this place, that when you leave, you are transformed into a profound artist. That you now have the skill sets through composition, you have the IQ, and you have the, the soul sets, the EQ, to be able to create a profound work of art. And that's what I'm committed to. And, you know, when you come in, you get access to our training. You get associate, um, uh, accountability through our meetups. You know, we have association uh, with galleries and other artists. And, and so you get access to all of this stuff. But that's... That's only to help you. You have to understand like what it is that you're doing here, and that is you're developing a sense, uh, a much more profound being. Being an artist, being a father, being a mother, being a lover, being a friend, and taking responsibility of your own composition. 
so that you can compose a profound and dynamic relationship, not only with the people in your life, but also with yourself, your own, with, with your God, with what it is that you believe, who you are and what you are, to also compose your artwork, that thing that, you know, is your expression in the earth. And, and, and so this goes beyond painting pretty pictures. We are committed to designing and composing not only a profound life, but a profound legacy, something that will stay an artifact. And we like the word artifact because there's the I and then there's the facts. Facts is the science. The I is you. And when they overlap, you have the art. So you have the art, I, facts. And that's basically the foundation and the mindset of those who are at the Academy. So on that note, now you know what you can call me. You know why I do what I do. And, and I hope that you get a sense by engaging with us. Because it's just not about me. But it's about the mindset. It's about the energy that's formed in this place. And, and, and I hope that you can come into this place and grow and mature so that you can become uh, a guide to somebody else in their journey. So on that note, I say gratefully, Don Victor, have a great day. Ciao.